Well, let's start with uh, an overview of the UI. The first line here is uh, the charge bar. Then you have the toolbar icon with all the settings, interface, tool button, and uh, placement button here for creation asset. Then follow by the tabs. First line for the main tabs and second line for the secondary tabs. Then your asset list here. Here it's um, a slider to set your display icon size. And the last line is uh, directly the name of the focus asset. Well, let's start with the um, tab system. When I first designed Asset It, what I want is that it was related to your OS folder structure, because this way it's way simpler to manage. You have a quick access to your library folder with this icon, you can open here, and you can see that it's the same structure here on uh, your folder system than you have on Asset It which is great because this way you can easily manage everything, rename or what you want uh, directly from the, the OS. For example, if I want to rename an, a tab here, you just have to reload the asset it interface to take in count the changements. For that, you can relaunch with the icon or you have the reload icon here and it's, uh, it's renamed, okay? To create any new uh, tab, prefer to use the plus button dedicated directly from the asset it interface. This way that will avoid any uh, name conflict uh, and create a proper structure. For a main tab, I will click create one by clicking on the plus here. Um, you always need uh, at least one sub tab in one tab for the script to work correctly. So you can create a new one here and a new sub just create and it's done for you and if you want to add sub second just do it same thing if you want to rename just come here and rename okay there are no possibility to organize the, uh, the tab here because they are based on um, they are sort by uh, naming convention like on uh, your OS. So you can uh, use the tricks I did to rename with a number before one, two, three. This way you can organize uh, that will be sort correctly here in the in the script too. It's a really powerful uh, system because in fact you have three level structure because remember you are set on one main folder structure but you can change it at any time which means you can organize you uh, for example by project uh, create a library uh, by project you can also work in team uh, you can work at many on the same folder and just reload and you will see uh, appear uh, what's your uh, team works uh, add on the library. So to change it, you have the first icon here, which is the setting. Okay, this open the setting window with the first line for the library patch and can just change it. Uh, for example, if I go to my desktop, I have another library. So I have to be in with already a structure in it. I select and now I immediately switch to this and I can switch again to this one. So this way you can create uh, one folder by project or organize as you, as you want and have a lot of possibility and control on organization. To help you find your assets, you have a charge bar here on the top. Uh, for example, here I want to locate in my SF asset only. So I will type SF. Okay, and you are immediately switch to the charge bar tabs, which is this one with the result of your recharge. So the charge bar is a bit uh, sensitive. So be careful with, uh, don't type too quickly, uh, especially if you have a lot of assets because it will look at all your assets on any tabs and sub tabs. So be careful with, uh, with this guy. 
And finally, you have the favorite tab, which is here. Pretty simple. Uh, on each asset, you can do a right click. You have the name here, uh, asset info here, which will open the info panel with some uh, metadata and the picture in the full size of your asset, where it is located uh, and some useful information. But uh, what's in port us is add to favorite here. Okay. And now you have your asset here. You can add more. And favorite here. You can quickly remove. Let's note an interesting thing on the right click menu. Um, here it's for importing file, we will see it later. You have the rename and delete here. I really advise to use that and don't uh, delete from the structure directly. You can, but if, for example, I'm looking at this asset, right click, open folder directly from this asset, uh, how it's uh, structure, it's a folder, which is the name of the asset, and inside all the needed file. For now, we only uh, have the saved file, so it's saved in uh, MA, the thumbnail file, and a JSON file that uh, contain all uh, metadata. So if you want to remove properly manually, you have to come here and delete by end. But if you come here and delete, that will do it for you. Uh, also, the same for renaming. It's better to, uh, to use the script directly because the script will rename everything properly for you. Great, to finish, uh, let's have a look at the setting option we have. So the library patch, it's okay. You also have a little uh, option for UI, allow you to use uh, Maya default theme if you don't like the dark one. Uh, same thing, you have to save setting to reload the script, it's okay. If you want something more like uh, Maya. And here you have three icon size, uh, depend uh, on your monitor resolution. Example, save setting. Okay. So it's your choice, of course. Great. Uh, what's next? Yes, for import, we will see it later. Same thing for shader. You have a clean favorite tabs here. If you want to clean the, the tabs, the favorite tabs here. Okay, and it's pretty all for now. Uh, one last thing about the UI. Uh, you can dock it everywhere you want. Uh, it's fully dockable on Maya. So, yes, pretty nice if you want to have it here. Uh, unfortunately, it's not saving uh, on your workspace, which means each time you will uh, launch Maya, uh, be careful to don't have the script docked Otherwise, um, that will be empty and you will have to click again here just to launch. So each time you launch Maya, you have to relaunch uh, the script also. Uh, little tricks, for example, what I like is uh, to dock it on the bottom here. I can even remove this. If you want something, you know, like, um, like Unreal Engine, that can be great. Um, and I will have this, this way. And you see here the asset tab name, you can right click on here and choose the tab direction. Uh, I want to put it on the right, for example, now it's, it's cleaner here. I will also remove that. And now it's, it's great to works.